Hello and welcome to another installment with me, Alicia. While there are many causes of infertility, a blockage of fallopian tubes is often the reason why many women are unable to conceive. On this installment, we're going to talk about how blocked fallopian tubes may lead to infertility, what causes this blockage, and how you can treat this condition. To understand what blocked fallopian tubes are, you need to know what a fallopian tube is. The fallopian tubes are two thin tubes, one on each side of the uterus, which help lead the mature egg from the ovaries to the uterus. When an obstruction prevents the egg from traveling down the tube, the woman has blocked fallopian tube. It can occur on one or both sides. This is also known as tubal factor infertility, and this is the cause of infertility in 40% of infertile women. So how do blocked fallopian tubes cause infertility? Each month when ovulation occurs, an egg is released from one of the ovaries. The egg travels from the ovary through the tubes into the uterus. The sperm also need to swim their way down to the surface through the uterus and through the fallopian tubes to get the egg. Fertilization usually takes place while the egg is traveling through the tube. If one or both fallopian tubes are blocked, the egg cannot reach the uterus and the sperm cannot reach the egg, preventing fertilization and pregnancy. It's also possible for the tube not to be blocked totally, but only partially. This can increase the risk of a tubal pregnancy or ectopic pregnancy. The most common cause of blocked fallopian tubes is pelvic inflammatory disease or PID. PID is the result of a sexually transmitting disease. But not all pelvic infections are related to STDs. Also, even if PID is no longer present, a history of PID or pelvic infection increases the risk of blocked tubes. Other potential causes of blocked fallopian tubes may include STD infection, specifically chlamydia or gonorrhea, history of abortion or miscarriage, history of ectopic pregnancy, and endometriosis. Thousands of women are diagnosed with blocked fallopian tubes each year, and the number one question on their mind is, how to reopen them. There are many medical options for reopening the fallopian tubes. It is important to recognize, however, that the fallopian tubes are about the size of spaghetti noodles in the wind. Once they are damaged, it may be irreversible. They are very delicate. Any sort of trauma can alter their functions and damage the tube's tissue. One of the available medical options includes tubal ligation removal. The surgical procedure involves removing the portion of the fallopian tube that was tied or cauterized in the original surgery and reattach the two ends to make a complete tube. This procedure has 75 pregnancy success rate. During surgery, doctors may clip away addition from the fallopian tubes ovaries and uterus so that reproductive organs can move freely once again. This procedure is not without its risk, however, the regrowth of scar tissues and addition is always a possibility, and when that happens, the tube may become blocked again, or adhere to the abdominal well or other parts of the reproductive organs. Scar tissue may also form on other parts of the abdominal cavity, including the reproductive organs due to the surgical procedure. This procedure also risks the opening of the abdomen and runs the risk of pelvic infection, as well as ectopic pregnancy. Block fallopian tubes are one of the main causes of infertility today. There are many natural options to help your body support normal fallopian tube functions such as massage, enzymes, and herbs. While surgery is a common treatment for blocked fallopian tubes, there are natural options which can have great results without causing addition scar tissue to form. As always, we would like to thank you for joining our continued discussion on pregnancy and beyond. This is Alicia signing off. Please leave a comment, rate my video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye!